This book right here, it's got some morality in it, but it's not mainly about morality. It's got some history in it, but it's not mainly about history. It's got some miracles in it, but it's not mainly about miracles. This book is mainly about Jesus. It points to our need for Jesus. Notice what Jesus does in verse 27. I love this verse. Then, beginning with Moses, Moses is the one who wrote Genesis through Deuteronomy, and all the prophets, he, Jesus, interpreted to them the things concerning himself in all of the scriptures. Jesus starts going through all the scriptures and says, do you want to see me in the Bible? And Jesus starts making all these connections. Listen to me. This book right here, it's not primarily about you. It's not primarily about me. It's primarily about him. Now, I don't know about you. I would have loved to have been there in that moment, right? I mean, to hear Jesus just connect all the dots in the scriptures, that would be amazing. Now, um, but I, I've got a spiritual imagination. I can just imagine maybe a little bit of what Jesus said. I can imagine, okay, maybe Jesus started with Genesis and said, hey, at the end of God's creation, what did God say? It is finished. Well, at the end of Jesus' crucifixion, what did he say? It is finished. And hey, you got this first Adam over here. He failed the test for humanity. But there's a second Adam, he completely passed the test. And then, and then you got Noah. Oh, Noah, he built an ark to save humanity. Well, Jesus is the ark that saves all of humanity. And then you got this guy called Abraham. God gave him a promise that from his seed, his descendants, all the world we bless. Jesus is that seed. And then you have Moses who gave the law. Jesus fulfills all the law. And all those sacrifices, they all point to Jesus and the ultimate sacrifice. And you know what? The way to God is through Jesus. You want forgiveness of sins? It's Jesus. If you feel unclean, guess what? Jesus is the one who makes you clean. Jesus is the city of refuge. He is the kinsman redeemer. He's the descendant of King David who rule and reign forever and forever. That's who Jesus is. All the Bible points to him. Every book in the Bible. Psalms, he's the good shepherd. Um, in Proverbs, he is our wisdom. In Song of Solomon, he's the beautiful bridegroom. Isaiah, he's the suffering servant. In Daniel, he's the fourth man in the fiery furnace. Everything in the scripture is pointing to Jesus Christ. And you won't understand this unless you understand that. You see, so many times what we do is we read the word and it's maybe confusing. We get lost in the details and the weeds of, of the scripture. But you know, sometimes what you got to do is just take a step back and understand this, that all the Old Testament was saying there's coming a Messiah. Then the gospels say He's here. The kingdom of heaven is at hand, right? And then the epistles say, this is who this Messiah is. And then Revelation says, hey, he's coming again, right? It's all pointing to Jesus Christ. 